what it is what's up got your in a cut uh the not the telesis uh what is this called biscuits from heaven biscuits from heaven back another video another croc related video um i only have like two gigabytes on my phone so i gotta hurry get this shit finished um more crocs i got more crocs here these are uh not exactly the most hypers of crocs i think but i'm a sucker for designer collaborations and fucking i guess this is a designer so it's street but street what is designer shout out to this ergonomic box way more efficient than the fucking uh deandre bimbry uh crocs <laughs> if you're a basketball head dude I, it's, it's funny as hell to call Salehe bimbry fucking deandre bimbry to me i don't know why way more ergonomic uh more conventional in the sense of the packaging because these this bag is how the um grateful dead crocs came so kind of resembling the, of that versus the salehi bimberries i'm just fucking throwing all kind of names out there uh let me open these up well let me show them. let's see so pleasures crocs took a picture wait Oh, there we go. That's better quality. Fucking zoom out. If you can zoom out to the right, it's just like really good shit. Uh, here we go. I went for the camo color way instead of the black one because I fucking. I accidentally fucking, uh. <laughs> I accidentally stopped the video trying to take a fucking. I'm a fucking boomer. What can I say? Uh. Yeah, I'm a boomer. Uh. Pleasures Crocs. The brand I always wanted to get something of. Uh, Pleasures is kind of like in that, I feel like it's in that tier, like, uh, with, not Palace, but like, uh, <sighs> um, I'm trying to think what, what's in that tier. Like, I, I, it's like below Palace, which is like below Supreme, and, um, below Supreme, below Bape, below Palace. Uh, I'm trying to think what fucking brands would be in that tier. Like, uh, god damn, I can't think of anything on the top of my head that's in that tier. I'm going to spend all fucking day thinking about this, but that's a little sticker there from Pleasures. Um, Real Tree Camo. Oh, shit. I was thinking about Real Tree the other day. Uh, Real Tree. I had the Real Tree uh, Air Forces twice, and I flipped them twice. I had one pair. I think it's the same pair. I, cause I, I, I uh, Flipped them on eBay. I got them from Plato's Closet. And then they never delivered to the guy. So I think they got lost in shipping. And I feel like whoever got them from my post office brought them back to the same Plato's Closet. So they had the same fucking wheel tree camos in the same Plato's Closet, the same size. Looked almost the exact same. And I flipped them again. And pretty much sold them for about the same amount. So that was pretty cool. Uh, wheel tree camo, though. Uh, just a little side note of my life. Little footprint thing. Uh, these definitely are the pretty typical um uh camo model they're not clogs but they should fit me the same way that they would fit me uh, with other crocs and uh with no further ado oh they glow in the dark oh breathe densely noir shout out to persona 5 noir uh, let's give it the size test. I'm sure you guys want to know. If you don't know how to fuck crocs or size, as one for yourself, you probably should know that. But unless you look at the croc video, real yee shit over here, bro. Real Alabama shit. Take that foot off. Put this foot on. Yes, sir. All right. So the thing with with me and these size eights is that once I kind of get some some space in them, they work. I gotta let these holes kind of expand. Uh, size 8 is not easy, breezy, beautiful bugger girls on me. Initially, at the very least, but it does work for me. Uh, I've gotten Anwar Carrot Crocs and um, uh, the Grateful Dead after mentioning Crocs. And I go with size 8 in both of those. Um, I think it just works for me. Uh, I do, I don't go sports mode really that often, uh, which sports mode tests here in terms of flexibility. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, pretty, pretty standard uh, sports mode here. Nothing crazy, nothing loose, nothing gaping, nothing too tight, nothing uh, penile breaking, but um, 
yeah, I thought I think this is it's a good look. The only thing about it, I don't like how short the hook is. Wait, is this I guess this is average hook size. Let me see. I feel like that's not average. Look at that. Well, these are like these have been as you can see, they've been worn out. I've I've the penile fit, let me just say that. Um so I'm not sure if this is this feels like to me to be a little bit too much. Too 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 This isn't far out enough. Let me say that. The hook. I'm gonna call it the hook. The hinge is not far out enough, I feel like for me. That's a little paint fuck up there. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um Yeah. So these I, off the top of my head I give them like a fucking probably what a seven out of ten. I mean these are not crazy. Uh no amazing details, no gibbets. Um kind of this you know, this I might leave that on there for some reason, I'm not sure. Um just a little bit of branding really. Um I still, I still like that hinge. And this is like off kilter. What the fuck? Look at look at the way this is put on there. That's not that's not like centered. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Did I get a shitty pair? Like I don't I don't understand what, what was happening here. I don't like this. It's not centered. Like look at this. That's not centered, bro. And the the paint job. Okay, so you yeah, you have to paint it over Crocs. That's the indentation. It's painted over the Crocs uh, trademark. I'm not a fan of. It. I'm not. I'm not a fan of that aspect of it. Uh, I think I'll still fuck with them eventually, just because I like the kind of the color. Uh, that gives you kind of like Black Air Force energy, but like Ku Klux Klan edition. Kind of KKK energy, you know. This is what it is. You got the cow. Play. What the fuck brand will be on Pleasure's tier? Um, a lot of the brands I fuck with their streetwear nowadays are like lower tier uh, in terms of relevancy, like Impossible Conversations, uh, Steady Hands, uh, shit of that nature. I, I don't know what like what's in that mid tier anymore. Like, I don't follow. I guess kind of. I don't know. What the fuck is in there? Oh, um, CPFM would, well, no, I think CPFM is like closer to like tier one at this point. I think more people, do more people know CPFM than Bape? I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think they're that big. They're either like low first tier, or like high mid tier. CPFM, um, fuck, what else would be in that, that general range? I don't know. CPFM did a fucking McDonald's collaboration, bro. Anyway, um, that's the fucking Crocs, uh, Pleasures review. Uh, not amazing. Not my favorite. I would say, honestly, all three of the other crocs you see mentioned in this, in this uh, or depicted in this little shot here, I like all of these better than I like these. Uh, there's no gibbets. There's no, outside of the fucking uh, little kind of skeletal reflections here, it's nothing amazing about these. I mean, it's a, it's a cool camo, but it's not a like jaw dropping uh camo like print by any means it's okay it, it's solid it's not a bad croc it's just it's average there's nothing amazing about it it's just kind of an okay croc in the grand scheme of things and that's fine 